Hello everyone, today I will show you how to actually complete the message system with the help of PHP. We have made the user interface, but uh, today we will add the background backend code here by using the PHP. So if we write a message inside this form and click on the send button, that message will be sh shown inside this box directly. Uh, so for that, we need to actually save the message inside our database. So let's create another table that will be our message table. So inside the message table here, we need to add five column. So let's add four. We will get some more than the number we put there. So here the ID will be integer type, length will be 100 and we need to give it auto increment. This is the number of messages that is actually entering inside that database and later that the username that will be character type and let's give the 100 length and then message this will be 500 character and now the status the status actually means uh, yes or no if the user has seen the message yet or not okay then the sender if the sender is a student or admin okay so we need this five column now let's save this and let's go back to our table to see all the column have been added here and the ID is auto increment okay everything is okay so now let's work on the form so here inside the form the method is post and here the button tag inside the button tag we will add the type submit and the name you can add any name you want you can add submit or submit one two three but the type have to be actually submit and you have to write it exactly like this and after this we will go to our php code let's start this here after this div tag so if is set dollar underscore post and the button name submit you give you need to give the name not the type so whatever inside that name you need to write that button name here and if I said this uh, so if the button is pressed what we need to do is we need to insert those value inside our message table so let's go to the query so dollar sign db then comma inside double quotation we will write our query insert into then the database name and table name you can write the table name directly too and if you want to write the database name and then table name then we need to give the this quotation mark and write it properly you can find this quotation mark on the left corner upper left corner of your keyboard before the okay before the number one you will find this so value the value the first one will be our id and if you go back here and see the id is auto increment so we don't need to actually write anything inside this uh, field we can uh, keep it blank and then after this the username so this will be our session variable and after this that will be message so the message will be posted inside this form input here let's change the name a bit let's use the message so that we can actually write the same thing everywhere and if you actually give any other name you need to actually keep remembering that where you have used which name so this is actually easier if you keep all the names same so here the status will be no because when the message will be sent uh, no user will actually see it immediately so the status is no and then after this the user who actually send it so here the student we will use the sender as student from the student side and if it is admin side we will use admin uh, we will see that later and after this let us just refresh this again okay and after this let's press this and see if it is saved inside our message table We have inserted the data now we just need to show this data inside our that uh, message uh, form or inside the those message box or chat box 
so here first for that we need to actually see okay we just deleted all the tag that we used for paragraph tag for showing the message we need to show this message inside those box not the one that we will write inside our code right so here for that we will just delete those and let's rearrange them a bit here the color will be white so that we can see it properly this will be for both the chat box for admin and the user and now let's copy this php code and use it after the body tag we will use it before this all this code because we will use this uh, code inside those letter part and if we write this code after all this code then it will not actually find those variable it will show some error so we need to write this code before this uh, wrapper class okay so here if the button is sorry uh, yeah if this button is pressed then that code will be run that query will run and here if that does not happen then we will just show all the data that is available inside the database for that user so for that we need to select the data for the that user so we will just match the username and select those data so select start from message where username is equal to dollar underscore session login user so our login users data will be fetched from the table and now we will fetch this data and show this inside our chat box so for that let's go to the message class and after the break we will start a comment for actually identifying which part is for student and which part is for admin and before this we will start our php code And here let's write the while condition here so while we will fetch the data and keep it inside a variable called dollar row dollar row equal mysqli underscore fetch then underscore so and inside this the dollar result variable so we are getting all the data from our dollar result query and here we are putting it inside our dollar sign row so while condition start from here we will end it after all the condition ends so here if the dollar row variable that is actually our sender who is the sender if it is student we will show this message inside our student or user chat box and if it is admin we will show it inside an admin chat box okay so here we are starting this if condition and if this uh, sender is student then we will show this message inside this box so we are starting this php and echo the message echo and then dollar row and here message so after facing this um, this data we actually show um, save the data inside the dollar row variable and showing the data okay here is some error let me check if other message actually show inside this so that we understand that the while query is running properly or not okay we are not getting it let's delete this part okay now we are getting error for ending condition okay we have not ended the if condition properly so let's end them and then run again so after this admin query sorry admin div box here we are adding an in bracket and that will be for the while and for if condition the if condition will end after the student part before the admin part start so before the admin part we will start php and end the second bracket here okay now the our if condition is closed here and while condition is closed after the admin side okay now if we okay now the message is showing properly now we just need to show the proper message from the database that is actually fetched okay i'm getting again another error okay i have used a string and before the variable this is a variable so we cannot use the string condition sorry string sign or double quotation okay so now we are just seeing the message properly now we just need to do some modification here for our admin side 
so if the sender is a student we are showing that message there so if the uh, sender is not student then we need to add else condition here so else after the admin side end we need to end this else condition too so here the bracket ends and all the brackets are balanced now you can see that there is only one message for student we are seeing that now if we actually insert it from here directly then we will see the admin message too as we have not created our admin side i'm just in giving the input directly okay now here we need to show this message inside this admin chat box okay now that message is also shown from there now if we write something we will see this message okay okay we are getting blank because we have not used the query inside okay the if condition we will add it but before that let's add some break before the student okay now the break is okay so now let's add this result condition sorry result query and we will add this inside our if condition too so if the message if someone write a message that will also be shown inside the uh, chat box immediately okay now let's write a message and press send now you can see that uh, it is not blank it will be added immediately and it will also be added inside the database but let's remove the break from here okay let's see how many bracket okay, break we need to actually remove there is one more between these two so okay let's just remove the break from okay behind this student and let's use two break one is before student chat box and one is before admin chat box okay now the break is properly working okay now if we write some message we can see it here now if we actually want to delete all these messages from this we need to go to table and then operation you need to truncate the table not delete the table if you truncate all the message will be deleted but the table is still there so if we now again insert some messages you will be able to see all the message here so here everything is working properly here you can see that and we will actually show how to do the message system from the admin side in the next part